YouTube. You know who it is. Chris Jones represent Pop Chasers. All right, so it's uh, morning time, getting close to the afternoon. I was up real late, so you know I woke up a little later than usual. Anyway, so you know I'm getting ready to start cutting soon, man. I'm a huge believer in not jumping into anything head first. Meaning, let's say if you're an overweight person trying to get lean, don't just wake up one day and start changing your eating habits. That can be very stressful mentally and overwhelming. You know, uh, going from eating whatever you want every day to just going on a full-blown macro, healthy ass diet, doing a whole bunch of workouts weekly, like five days, six days a week, when you haven't even started working out ever you know ease into things you know maybe instead of going on a full-blown diet let's cut out the sugary sodas and, and change that with water or tea uh, if you still got to have soda go with diet soda you know let's cut out all fried foods you know little things like that instead of working out five or six days a week let's start with two days a week see how we like it you know get used to the body being sore shit like that right well what I'm doing is like, I, like you said in my last vlog, I've been cooking a lot more, you know, prepping my food. Let me show you. I still eat out, don't get it fucked up, but try not to eat out so much. See, I got turkey prep. This is like three or four pounds worth of turkey right here. Got me some chicken prep. This is about a pound of chicken. You know, it really helps you stay on track with your meals. Drinking plenty of water, you know, stuff like that, man. So easing into it, not tracking any macros, just getting back into the habit of prepping my food, right? Now, I'm getting back into the cardio. I'm doing cardio three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just to get back into the groove. Next week, I'm gonna add abs and calves. The abs and calves routine I just showed you, that's one of them, go check that out. I'm gonna start I'm gonna, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, get some abs and calves going in like that. And probably on the third week is when I'm gonna full blown start cutting, meaning I'm gonna start taking my fat burners, my carnitine, you know, tracking my macros, uh, stuff like that. So let me go ahead and get up in this gym, do me a little cardio, and we're gonna start our day, man. Let's get it. You gotta get on up. Hey. All right, guys, I'm here at the gym. About to get on this treadmill. We're gonna do 25 minutes. Next week, we're gonna do 30. We're gonna do 25 minutes walking uphill at a 10 incline. We're gonna go at a 3.0 speed. We're gonna cruise the whole time, man. Keep the heart rate going, get a good sweat. I know y'all hear that RB in the background. Y'all know how I get down, man. See, look. We're gonna go at a 10 incline. That way we can get those hamstrings and glutes fired up. And then we're gonna go with our 3.0 speed. Let's do it, baby. Guys, just handing a little business right here. Got the homie Jerron. Goddamn big Paul. They about to put in some work, man. If you're looking out for some shit, hey man, go to subscribe to Jerron Fit channel right now, guys. He about to put in some major work right now. So y'all wanna see some good workouts. Be looking out for their full body program coming soon. For people interested in this full body training, check them out. You're all fit. Hey guys, don't miss out. Go ahead and take these clothes to the cleaners real quick, man. Oh man, I am starving right now. And this train has literally been going almost 20 minutes. And I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon because I cannot see the end of this fucking train cargo whatever you want to call it right. man Fuck. finally home about to make some of these banana protein pancakes and uh you know eat do my emails and begin my day man, it's gonna be a chill day today you know it's gonna be a pretty chill day not too much work to do so i'm gonna try to get some behind the scenes work done. You know, I still haven't finished typing that booty boot camp uh, program for the ladies. 
then I gotta record some of those tutorials. So hopefully I can start on that today or tomorrow. Just depends what I got going on. As you see, we got Big Paul in town. He's gonna be recording a lot of stuff for Jerron. They might want me to get him involved with some of that as well later on. So we're just gonna play things by ear. I know later on tonight I gotta hit these arms though. About to go ahead and get me, go ahead and get me two scoops of this GAF protein. To be 100% honest with you guys, I mix it up. You know, sometimes I go with my peach uh, cobbler flavored protein. Some days I might go with some chocolate protein. Depends what flavor I'm feeling that day. You know, some days I might want a chocolate pancake or I might want a peach cobbler flavored pancake. Just depends how I feel that day. Mm -hmm. All right, homies and homemade. So here it is, protein pancake done. Just uploaded a new video giving my abs and calf routine. And yeah, I want I want to share this uh water farm pancake syrup with y'all. Now you know usually I use this right here. Calorie free pancake syrup right here. They got a new flavor that just hit the streets. It's maple walnut syrup. And let me tell you, it tastes pretty damn good. Definitely a good change of pace. This is right here, like my favorite go-to syrup, but I've been I've been using it for years. Definitely nice to have something different for them taste buds, man, to keep them guessing. So just wanted to share that with y'all. Be sure to try to find it if you can. People keep asking me where can you buy it. Uh, so you can go to Albertsons, um, Sprouts, those health food stores, those whole food stores. And if you can't find them there, just order the shit online. Damn, you can order practically anything online. Walden Farm pancake syrup. I'm pretty sure. It, you can get delivered to your home house. So shower, whatever. Got my emails caught up. About to make me a little meal before I go to the gym in a couple of hours. I'm listening to this little Kali Muscle video. Shout out to Kali Muscle, man. Just listening to him talk and uh, while cooking my food. Let me show you what I come up with. I'm just gonna make a little beef scramble. You know, scramble some shit together. Whip it up real quick. Give me some good protein, fat, and uh, carbs. To fuel my own workout I'm about to engage in. Check this out. This right here is 96.4 lean beef. Guys, go to Walmart and let me look at that out the smoke so I can focus this bitch. So focus. Come on now. There we go. This right here, man, is gourmet burger season. Man, this shit is delicious, man. I put some of this shit in my hand just to give it a little taste. Man, I love it. My first time trying it. I'm about to get some grilled onions and some potatoes and throw this shit up in here too, man. All right. Let's get some onions up in here. Got some frozen potatoes. Get that meat up in here. Got some of that beef in there, beef, potatoes, onions. And we got some refried beans. Oh yeah. Don't be jealous, guys. Do not be jealous. Go ahead and throw some of these chilies up in here, man. Oh, yeah. All right, homies and homies, and here it is. Here's my meal before I go to the gym. They got the scramble right here. Lots of protein. Got me a little bit of this Cholula green pepper hot sauce. Some reduced sugar ketchup. And believe it or not, guys, it's just as good as regular ketchup without the extra carbs. So, you know, it will save you, man. But five grams of carbs per serving may not sound like a lot. But when you do like this every day, when you do this shit every day like that, that shit will add up, guys. This is only one gram of carb per serving. Compared to the five grams of carb per serving you get in a regular shit like this. And let me go ahead and share this with y'all. Y'all follow me on Instagram. You've already seen this. People in the comment section be asking me, do I still coach? Of course I do. That's my full-time job. Got some new Whole Ready Hall of Famers in here. Check that out. Bam. Bam. Whole Ready, baby. I'm not even Whole Ready. What the fuck going on here? Look at that. Bam. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, man. I try to post some transformations monthly for y'all to keep y'all motivated. And to let y'all know I'm about that motherfucking life. Because this is what I do, man. Here's another one of my clients. This guy right here, I'm really proud of this guy. Christian, man. Been working with him over a year. Check him out. Bam! Don't be jealous. Just go put in the work, man. Don't be jealous. Yeah, Tia ain't playing no games. Check 
Good job, Gio. I like those leggings. I love them. Let me, let me see that. Oh my lady, you better go get 30 minimum. 30 minimum, ladies. All right. Oh, the pink ones? Yeah, because yeah, we got a pink version, or well, a pink and red version of these as well, man. They high-waisted, as you see, high-waisted, hugging the legs, hugging the glutes. Hey, what more do y'all want? <laughs> Jerome fit coaching, man. Full body, man. He don't be bullshitting. He is not bullshitting, guys. Full body is what he do. All right, homies at home, man. So check it out, man. We got this post-workout meal. Got a scoop of protein up in this bitch. And we got four slices of watermelon from Walmart, man. It comes with 10. I've been eating a little bit of this for the past few days. I love it, man. I already sliced and ready to go, man. I've actually weighed these out of curiosity. And each one of these blocks are 100 grams of watermelon. So that's 400 grams of watermelon for the ones that happen to give a fuck. It's onion time. Yes. Get some egg whites. All right, we got those sweet potatoes hooked up right here, nice and heated in the microwave. Throw a little more cinnamon on there. And let's get a little almond butter. We cooking from the soul today. We cooking for the soul, man. I feel like some almond butter. We're gonna put that in here, smash it down, and stir it up a little bit. And as you see, Nice and mashed down. This is gonna taste delicious guys. Believe it or not. This is delicious. All right, so here we go We got the egg in here We got the onion in here Let's get a little bit of this Tony seasoning up in here. Just a little bit not too much Just a little bit to give it a little more flavor man BAM I heated up some turkey in the microwave if I had to guess this is about eight or nine ounces. Like I said, man, the beast is hungry tonight, man. Cook it from the soul. Cook it from the soul. Fuck that scale. Shit. I can't be giving y'all all my secrets, man. Better like my shit, man. I'm giving y'all my damn secrets. Fun fact, guys. Fun fact. I cannot stand egg whites. I fucking hate egg whites. That's why when I go to IHOP, I usually get steak tips with my egg whites. I usually, if I go to Denny's, I have a chicken breast with my egg whites. I gotta have something to chop in my egg whites or I will not eat it. Same with my, with my pancakes. I can't, I, sometimes I throw my egg whites in my banana pancakes or my, you know, my protein pancakes in general. I just can't do egg whites by itself. I just fucking hate them, man. So throw in some more, ch I love these chilies, man. It just gives this food some, Amazing. All right, homie, is a home match. Here's my fourth and final meal of the day. There it is. Got some turkey, egg whites, onions, and peppers up in here. Sweet potato with a little bit of almond butter. I'm going to have this reflect on my life just a little bit. And I'm going to go to bed. I got a really busy day tomorrow, man. I got two clients coming by my gym. I got to train. Like I'm, I'm getting back to my roots, getting back into that hands on coaching, man. And then a few weeks from now, I got a bikini model that's getting ready to do a show. It's going to be meeting me for the first time. 
Got another guy who's doing a physique show gonna be meeting me. So I got a pretty busy schedule, but I love it, man. This is what I love to do, man. When you do a job you actually absolutely love to do, you're really not working, man. So got to be here tomorrow. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. My meal, my meals are pretty much perfect today. I got my fruits in. I got plenty of fiber in. My only issue is I probably should have squeezed in some veggies somewhere. I should have got me a couple of servings of veggies. I might, I really hate to do this, but I might have to start back throwing frozen spinach or something into my uh, smoothies to get those veggies in. That way I can have a perfect fucking diet. But anyway, man, other than that, hope y'all enjoyed my video, man. If you enjoyed it, give me a like. Really help the channel grow and it motivates me to record more. And that's it, man. Hope you like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Buy 30 of them bitches. Holla back at your boy. Get 30 of them bitches minimum.